Hey folks, welcome back to Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we made our way into the Great Bay and started exploring around to see that things are not well. Uh, we also became Azora and stuff, that's pretty cool. So, we've made our way to the Pirate's Fortress in an attempt to get back some Zora eggs. Now, here's the thing about this area, is it's somewhat stealth based. We get some dramatic camera angles for some reason. There be pirates. Look out. So, this is a sort of stealth based section. Um, this is kind of why I wanted to get a mask that makes this whole stealth thing kind of trivial. That would be this here stone mask. Let's equip that, and let's also equip this, because we're going to need that. So, stone mask on. They will not notice us at all, and it's hilarious. I'm gonna get a pro shot here. Uh, how good does he want it? Come on, game. I wonder if that's good enough. I don't actually know. It's probably not, but we'll keep it anyway. You only get one. Hmm. We'll get better opportunities later, for sure. Uh, but we don't want to change to Zora, because they'll totally... I'm pretty sure they've got some decent vision range, like they'd be able to see us from there, for sure. Uh, let's just sort of swim over here. If memory serves, there's an underwater entrance we need to activate. Hmm, probably, mm, probably not safe here. We'll wait for this one to go past. That should be okay. Change to Zora. And under we go. Thank you. Okay. Now we should be pretty good. So, let's have a look around. Um. Hmm. Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch you have to pound with the Goron. That's what it is. I was trying to remember, like, what do I do down here? I believe this is what needs to be done. Hmm, this is going to be somewhat tricky, isn't it? Excuse me, go away. You're, you're, you're annoying, little fish. <sighs> we got to wait for the boats, though. Go away, I hear you. All right, let's see. Go away. Thank you. Stop there, that'll do. Okay, we should be okay now. Let's come up to the surface. Yep, there it is. Go, go, go. Let's make it quick. I don't know why there's just a random Goron switch here, but there is. There we go. And change back. And very quickly get into the water, please. That camera angle was very wacky. So, this is now open, which is good. That is what we want. Excuse me, sir. Uh, let me just double check something for one moment. If I don't get attacked, I shouldn't. Yep, all good. Sometimes you just gotta make sure everything's recording. Alright, so we come here, smack this open, and we find somewhat of a little underwater mazy sort of thing, I guess. Whack some things open. There you go. Uh, I mean, I guess we pull this back. Can we push it? We can. Let's just do that so we can get in for now. Ah, then we can pull this back. Yeah. That will let us get through there. Back around. Cool. Wait. Alright, well, as we wander, um, thought it might be a good idea to mention what I've been up to lately. Like, not really the whole, well, I haven't recorded in ages thing. We heard enough of that in, like, a couple parts ago. I believe I did mention in a part a little while ago that, yeah, I'm back at uni and stuff. Um, yeah, you may remember I was doing an IT course some time ago. Now I am studying music. 
which is pretty cool because, you know, if I'm sure I must have mentioned this by now, um, I do play a bit of the old music. Um, I play the keyboard. Yeah, I've definitely mentioned this. I think in like Star Tropics or something I talked about it. Uh, can we get that chest, by the way? Uh, we have to come in from somewhere else. I don't quite remember. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm studying music um, because my grand plan for what I want to do with my life, I guess, is I would like to be a composer for video games. So yeah, that's, that's what I want to do because I do like music and I like games, so why not do something that involves both of those things? And I do appreciate a game when it has excellent music, which I've played a lot of games that do. And I think to myself, I want to be like that. So yeah, that is my grand plan. Who knows if it'll work out? But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, the uni I'm at, it's like a creative area, and they've got like um, all these different departments, like there's a film department, animation, um, but most interestingly there is also a games department. So um, one of the classes I'm taking at the moment is like a specialist like project sort of thing, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to like do a project where I work with the game design people. So I can, like, compose a soundtrack, because that would be pretty much exactly what I'd like to do. So I'm hoping that'll work out, because that'd be really cool if so. Um, but yeah, all we can do is wait and see what happens with that. Uh, there's a piece of heart I don't care about. Uh, this place can be a bit confusing. Over there is a switch that we can most certainly hit. Um, let's just get these out of the way. So I haven't shown this yet. Um... One thing the Zora can do is if you hold down B, like we haven't really seen his attacks either, he punches and kicks and stuff, but um, if you hold down B, he does this, and you get these sort of boomerang fins, because why not, I guess. Anyway, that sure did open a gate. I'm guessing this is where we need to go, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's a spike. Oh, it's going back down, let's be quick. I knew I was going to walk into that, damn it. There we go, we got there. Where does this go? Hmm. Wait, was this back the way I... No, it's not. Hmm. Looks similar. Better start paying attention. Um, pots. Wouldn't mind a heart if the game's offering. The game is offering, good. That's where we were before, I think. I believe those, like, water... I don't know what you call those. Wind pipes, except it's probably not wind at all. Um, I believe they'll send you out, like, back to the first area, so we don't want to do that. Let's see, we should just be able to swim across these. Yeah, probably not a good idea to use the fast swim on that. Alright, let's see. Ladder. Sure is a ladder. <clears throat> Switch just there thing just there. Oh, okay. Why is the switch there then? Oh wait, I think I remember. We actually want to stand on this first. Oh, it's a limited time thing as well. Of course it is. Let's get this out. Alright, this time we'll be ready. I hope. Back we go. Nice. There we go. Yep, I remembered correctly. Okay, so this sends us up to here. I jumped off perhaps a bit early? No, I don't... Is there anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. There's a ladder there. Sparrows, all good. And yeah. Seem to have some long ladders in this place. But you know, that's fine. Ah, hello. What do you do? Link, you are not tall enough for that, but we'll pretend that you are. Alright, a little outside area where we can see what's up. There be guards and stuff. We're not going to really worry about that, because we don't need to. How do I get out there? That's the question. I'm trying to remember how you actually get out to that area. There's a Wait, there's a platform there? Huh. Is that a switch? It might be. Alright, I think what we need to do is knock these into each other. Yeah, like that. And this... Aha! There we go. Possibly shouldn't have jumped. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even see that door, I don't think. But it's fine. 
Ah, now we're out here. Put this on quick. All right. So we come all that way just to get up here. Yeah, it takes a little while, huh? But this should lead to that section we just saw with the telescope, if I recall. Yep, okay. And doing this without the stone mask, I believe I've done it before and it's totally doable. But, like, we have the stone mask so we should use it. Uh, now here's an excellent opportunity to get one of these pictures that we need. She's looking alright, but, you know, it's fine. Now that's a better one. Yeah, they look, but they don't see you. It's kind of interesting. Um, now, as for where we need to go, I want to say it's up there where that bridge is, which I believe we can just take this here ladder. Now, if you're curious as to what you would do, like if you didn't have the stone mask, if you hit them with something, if you hit your sword, they'll, like, fall over for a bit and go unconscious. Thankfully, you don't kill them, because remember, we can't have violence in our Nintendo games. Um, yeah, if you shoot an arrow at them, Anything like that, yeah, they'll they'll sort of just go unconscious for a bit. And so that's how you can sort of sneak by them. But we don't need to worry about sneaking. Yes, hello, what's up? Just gonna go in here, it's fine. Ah, yes, this is where we need to be. Okay. So, go over here. It's a bee! Why is there a bee in here? Making it really obvious as to what we need to do. There sure is just a random beehive in here. Hmm. A development. Yeah, I'm on it. Just in case you didn't know. Right, I couldn't remember exactly how many there were. Strange masked one, who could it be? It's the Skull Kid. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> A lot more confident this time. Anyway, so like, we need to get in there. Because there's an important thing in there. But we can't because there's guards all over the place. I don't, I think even the stone mask doesn't quite work for you there. But there's a way we can deal with that. What does Tattle have to say? Hmm. What an excellent idea, Tattle. So let's line ourselves up here. Get this out. And, uh... Just thought that might be a good idea. There we go. Much better. Now we'll be able to sneak in there. Alright, uh, let's get our inventory organized like that. There we go. Gonna need that in a bit. So, out we come. And now we can get into this room. Pop down here. 
and through here. And we will find ourselves a thing. Pretty sure we're like totally safe in here, so take that off. Just gotta check sometimes. But it's a new item! What could it be? It's a hookshot! And it looks pretty different since the Ocarina of Time days. But yeah, this lets us get to places pretty much. Alright, so... Chuck that over the bow for now. So it'll grapple onto like wooden things pretty much is the main thing. And they'll, there's certain like hook, hookshot targets as well and we'll be seeing those later. But we can use this to get up here. Like so. There's also this guy down here and he's a pain if I recall. I wonder if we can get a decent shot at him from here. Probably not. Ugh. Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out in there, isn't he? Alright, let's give this a try. So, we would like to, because we want that egg, of course, but we also want to deal with this guy. There we go. It's a bit scary fighting those guys. I don't remember how much damage they do. Alright, so unfortunately, the only way to actually get these guys is with bottles. There's four here, as it was said earlier, and we have three, which is annoying. So we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to do two trips here, which is a real pain. Um, I think since we have the hook shot, we might actually be able to, um get a fourth bottle, if I recall. I think that's something we can do now, but again, we have to leave to get it in the first place, so... Probably not gonna work out there. Uh, put this back on... Change back, put this on, alright. So I think all the eggs are in this general area. Um, there's just gonna be different entrances everywhere. Let's see... Jeez, I don't remember at all. Um, so we've done that one. Where does that one go? Hmm. Alright, let's grapple here. So these are like some, some of the hookshot targets you'll see. You can get there, climb up. Can we reach that one over there? Ooh, maybe. Oh, just barely. Uh, is there anything actually up here? There's a chest. Might as well see what's in here. I'm gonna guess money. Yeah, alright. Can't complain. Okay. Now, there is a door just under here, isn't there? I think it was, like, right there. Alright, let's give... Hmm, if we walk off... We should be able to, yeah. There it is. Okay, let's see if this works. He's facing the wrong way! Damn it. Oh, that hurt as well. Hmm, I bet that's how we could potentially do that, but I don't actually know. There's probably a door, like, over on this side if I had to guess. I do not remember this area very well, sadly. Let's see, come up there. Should be able to get over there too. Yep, no problem. Ah, here we go. So, what's in here? Some more guards that we don't have to worry about. Yeah, the stone mask really makes this pretty trivial. What's going on? Don't mind me. And as the door locks... Ah, uh, yes, we gotta do some fighting here. She can see us, somehow. Oh, they actually mentioned that, huh. That's cool. I don't remember that. Alright, what does Tattle have to say? You're caught if you don't win. Yeah, alright, fair enough. 
Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, Gilded Sword works pretty well. And then they magic their way out of it, I guess. So, beating the pirate lets us get in here. And it's a Zora Egg, yay. You better grab it. Alright, uh, there's another one of these dudes to deal with, which is annoying. I wonder if we can get a boomerang down there. It's gonna be awkward. Alright, let's just drop it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, nice. So that's number two. Now I suppose when we get to the next one, we'll need to use our milk up, which is annoying. Hearts, thank you. Could do with some magic as well. No luck there. Rupees, I guess. All right. Better get this back out. Inventory management, everybody. Alrighty, so... Ah, oh, so this was the exit, yeah. I bet there's a way you can probably do that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not good enough at trickery to do so. What do we have here? More money? Yep. We've got lots in this place, apparently. Alright, what else? So there's that door over there, too. Let's see what that leads to. Get it on up. Go. Thought I missed the grab for a second, but I didn't. Oh, that should work. Yep. Now, where does this go? This might actually lead out, I'm not sure. Ah, it does. Okay, we don't want to be here. Let's head back. Ah, there's more areas. Hmm. I think that one over there was where we started. There's a door there. Ah, we can get up there. Oh, and there'll be the top one there. Okay. Let's go for that, like, top one then first, maybe. Let's see. So we've got the hookshot spot here. Let's see where this is going to take us first. There we go. So that's that one. Can we get over to the other section? Because I kind of want to do that first, because it's more annoying to get to, I guess. There we are. There's a guard there we're not going to worry about. Ooh, it's almost night time. All right. Huh, there's just a chest in here. Uh, you guys don't mind if I just grab this, right? That's cool. Cool. Thanks, guys. You have to roll like, huh? Fine. Alright, get ready for another battle. Mm, we'll see about that. I think we just got like two hits in there with one attack, which is cool. Come on. Oh, they only do a quarter heart. Okay, I'm not so worried now. Same deal. Fine. Yep, that sure is a bell. Okay. Go. Same deal. Let's get... Oh, right. I need to use this this time. Good thing I checked up here. And a gulp. There we go. We sure earned that quarter heart. And this one's just for fun. Great. Uh, yep, that's fine. Ow. 
Okay, he does half a heart. That's a little concerning, but we should be okay. And there's the last one we can carry for right now. Good stuff, okay. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to leave to deposit these eggs where we need to take them. That's okay, because I think, yeah, should be able to remember um, the last one we need to go to. Oh, this is the wrong way. Wow, he respawned fast, huh? It's alright. So we need to head to the, um, the research lab. And uh, that's where the eggs go. Now luckily, since we now have the hook shot, we won't need to go through that whole, like, underwater section again. Which is very convenient, because it's much easier to get back now. Um, yeah, so this is how we leave. We can come back here, and we should just be able to hop over this. Yep, no problem. Now, the boats are pretty far away, so we should be able to just... Well, actually, at this point, it doesn't even matter if we get caught, really. So we need to head back down here. It is down here, right? I'm not crazy. Pretty sure it is. Yep, they sure saw us. <sighs> okay. <laughs> they didn't steal our eggs, right? No. Okay. Good. Oh, hi. There's Azora here. What's up? I forgot you were here. It is kind of ominous. Sure. Alright then, mate. Leave you to it. You, you do that, I guess. Alright, so let's make the little swim back to where we need to go. Do some, you know, cool dolphin dives on the way, because that's always a fun thing to do with this. How high can we go? That was a pretty good one. See if we can go for the style points again. Oop. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, so let's get our eggs out. One, two, three. Yeah, sadly, we need to turn these in one at a time. So we come up here, and then this is the finicky bit. So you have to place them in this little enclosure, aquarium, as he was saying, whatever. But the actual placement of it is really finicky because half the time the game's like, oh, this isn't where you do it. When you're like standing on, I guess, like between the gaps in the bars or something, I don't know. Just kind of wander a bit and just, you, you'll get it. <laughs> I like to not place them all on top of each other, by the way, just so you can see how many you've done. Come on, none of that. No, none of that. None of that. You can do it, Link, I believe in you. Come on. There you go, you figured it out, well done. Okay, so that's the three we can do there. That is good. Does Mr. Scientist Man have anything to say about that? You know, of course, that makes logical sense. Don't worry, mate, I'm working on it. Alright, so now we need to head straight on back to get that last egg, so I will head that away, and I guess I'll cut back to once we're in the... the main room, I guess. Alright, so this is the shortcut back, um, where the switch was, 
There's now a nice hookshot target right here. And there we go. Now we're across. Much easier than having to go through all that underwater stuff again. So, I believe the last one should be in that one off to the other side where I didn't check, which is... Yeah, just over here, I think. Tried to make it easy to remember. Please grab. Oh, you didn't grab. Oh, well, you might not need to, actually. Ah. Eh, that'll work. So, I imagine the last one must be in here. Yep, how you doing? Uh, that's fine. Cool, no problem. Hello. Ow. No need to be rude about it. Come on. Uh, can I hit you please? That would be good. This is kind of silly now. What do I need to do? There we go. I guess you just gotta be kind of aggressive with it and just walk up to them without defending and they'll be like, Roar! and then you just slash them. <laughs> Seems to be how to do it there. Alright, cool. Ooh, there's some fishies in there this time. Well, it's a nice change from the clam dude, so I don't mind. Uh, hmm. How do, how do we deal with that, though? Tattle certainly has something to say. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna need this. I think just some magic should do the trick, I hope. Yep, that'll do it. It's a chest, too. Good camera angle. 20 rupees and an egg. Good, we did a thing. There we are. See what these hold. Not a lot. That's fine. That's the wrong button entirely. I meant to do that. And also that. Okay, get this on. Head out the door. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to do that. Let's just go and get ourselves caught. Hello, hello. I am here. I shouldn't be here. Come and come and find me. Wow, that took a while. All right, maybe they're not as perceptive as I thought. Oh, they just take me out here and not to the actual... Oh, you know what, I guess that's fair enough, because you probably wouldn't want to have to go all the way back through the underwater bit if you were to get caught before getting the hookshot. Alright, now to get caught by these ladies. Hey! Hello, I'm Azora. I shouldn't be here. You know. Come and, come and catch me. It's, it's great. There you go. Alright, uh, so I guess we'll go deposit this last Zora egg. Uh, and then, I guess we'll probably call it a part there, because we'll have to collect the other ones next time. Uh, so I will head back to the Marine Research Lab, and we'll go from there. I didn't get the style points on that one. What a shame. No, Link, I just wanted you to climb the ladder, mate. Come on, here we go. See, not difficult. Alright, so, let's just put this last one in. Well, not last one, but the last one we get from the fortress anyway. Come on, don't be doing this. No, you just gotta put it in, it's not too hard. 
There you go, see? And that is four out of seven. Alrighty, so. Next time we will need to find a way to get the other ones. So, uh, yeah, we shall work on that next time. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.